Hi guys, it's Ethan. Welcome back to our celebrity suites. You know, all that stuff. We're not in the kitchen today. I'm actually on the couch, which is kind of nice. I can just like sit here and talk to you guys. But I hope you've been keeping up with the Kardashians, <laughs> but also you just general celebrity knowledge. If you haven't, consider subscribing. A little shameless plug. But I'll try to keep you up to date with like celebrity stuff and I'll bake it into a cake. That's like my new slogan for the channel. I'll keep you up to date and I'll bake it in a cake. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Anyways, if you're not up to date with your celebrity knowledge, your general celebrity knowledge, I want to kind of inform you of something that happened a few, a few days ago, a few weeks ago at this point now, which is New York Fashion Week. Maybe you've heard of this. New York Fashion Week is basically a fashion show put on and they like show off all the most trendy outfits. Trendy is up to your personal opinion. However, I wanted to recap Fashion Week if that's okay with you. However, I want to do it the Celebrity Suites way. So that means I'm going to be recapping Fashion Week through cookies. Yeah. Now just a little like side note, maybe like rewind just a little bit. The outfits that I've chose to make are all dresses from celebrities who sat at fashion week just like i'm doing right now front row fashion show isn't that ed sheeran song beautiful people front row of fashion yeah it is <laughs> okay anyways the outfits i chose are outfits i like and they are actually worn by celebrities at fashion week do you get what i'm saying i just i chose these i like these celebrities the base of these dresses are all going to be made out of sugar cookies. I used my go-to sugar cookie recipe. I'll put it up here somewhere and also in the description below if you'd like to check it out. I just rolled it out about a half of an inch thick onto a floured surface. This is basically like our fabric. You know, like every dress starts with a fabric. Unless you're Lady Gaga, then it starts with meat. But we started, we've got fabric, and now I want to cut it out. Once I finish cutting out all of our cookies, I then want to do some tailoring. You know, not every dress fits everyone and you know, you got to kind of like stitch it here, stitch it there, all that kind of stuff. So I took a knife and actually removed some of the pieces for our cookies on our longer dresses and also on our tutu ballerina dress. Then I popped them in the oven at 375 degrees for 8 to 10 minutes. I allowed all of our cookies to cool, you know, like you have to give people time. It's like in their dressing room before they walk out on the stage. They need time. So I allowed them plenty of time to cool down. We're going to start with Kendall Jenner because her look is one of the simplest of the looks I've chosen. Still classy though. For Kendall Jenner's dress, I'm going to be using one of our longer dresses with the straps cut off. We're going strapless. Starting with black rail icing, I want to make like a little half circle for her neck, but like make sure there's a suggestion of the neck. You get what I'm saying? Like she's got a neck in this shirt. Once I have that black border on, then I'm going to do a band of black royal icing, kind of dividing her chest from her lower body on the dress. Once both of those harden, I'll go back with some yellow and white royal icing, outlining and flooding the entire thing. Guys, we had a little bit of an accident on the runway. Kendall, um, she tripped up and fell and broke her dress into two pieces. It's kind of a sad day, but it's a good day because you can eat the cookie. Sorry, Kendall. But that's okay, we made another one, a backup, you know, just in case anything does go wrong. So here it is, compared to the original, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, this one does not have sleeves. I didn't have anything that would have sleeves, but it's still cute. It kind of reminds me of, have you seen those like staff licorice? That's what it reminds me of. Next up, I want to make Janelle Monet, who attended a very fancy party as well for Fashion Week. So to make this, I took one of our cookie cutters, the tutu one, and I began to do her bow tie. The bow tie is pretty simple, actually just two triangles that meet at a point in the center, and then a kind of band of like fondant. It's not fondant. It's like fabric, but we're using royal icing that goes down the center of her chest. Once those two have hardened, I then wanted to tackle the feathers. I didn't really know how I was going to do this. So I began with just flooding the entire thing. 
Then I went back and I decided I could add more layers. Maybe that would give some feathery effect, just poof it up a little bit. When I was finished with the cookie, I realized, you know, it wasn't the best look and I didn't really let the royal icing set all the way. I was kind of impatient. So when everything goes wrong, I just like to cover everything in sprinkles. So that's what I did. I think it turned out good in the end. I just put a bowl underneath and just dusted the entire thing in some black sanding sugar. Here is Janelle Monet's outfit from Fashion Week, at least one of them. The black feathery look that she wore. Again, very simple, very easy. Compared to the original, it looks pretty good. Like food fashion can be a thing. I'm bringing it to you. Food fashion. Next up, I'm gonna create Halsey, which Halsey basically just wore a bathrobe. It was kind of like a sexy bathrobe with some short shorts. Um, so we're gonna make that. <laughs> I started with one of our bow tie dresses and I began with a darker purple royal icing. Completely outlining the entire thing and then going back and filling it in. I made sure to start basically about a fourth of the way up from the bottom because they're still there. She still has shorts. It may not look like it, but they're there. After I filled our royal icing for the top, I went and did the shorts. When I was doing this, I realized I kind of made the shorts too far apart, like her legs were like going like this. So I just kind of put more frosting and had them meet in the middle. To tackle these more intimate, kind of like intricate, intimate, intricate, intimate details, that's hard to say. I focused on three main things. I started with her like, I don't even know what you call it, like the tie, the robe, no it's not the robe. The thing on the back robe, they tie it together and makes it stay up. Started with that, piping a band around her waist and then some like two strings going down. When I was happy with the look of that, then I added on a small pouch up here. I don't know where you put them here, maybe your toothpaste, who knows. And then I really wanted to accent the collar, puff it up a little bit. So I added some more royal icing to that. Now in hindsight, I wish I didn't add these details until I was happy with the look of the dress because again, I really wasn't, but that's okay. The best thing about this is you get to be the designer just change it up. So speaking of things you find in the bathroom, I took a Q-tip, I know. <laughs> Doesn't this make you want to try it even more? And I basically just took it and I just pressed it onto our royal icing. It hadn't set all the way, which was so good. Otherwise, I don't know what I would do, start over. And I just pressed it all over, kind of to give it more of like a lacy outfit effect. Here is the Halsey outfit that I made, again, Kind of trickier than some of the others, but I think it still turned out well compared to the original. I really like it. Halsey attended Rihanna's event, her Fenty Beauty kind of line. So, of course, you can't have Halsey without Rihanna, a little bag out ri, ri To do this, I started with one of our longer dresses as well, with the straps cut off. And then I took some aqua colored royal icing and piped on our cookie. The thing with Rihanna's dress is it's a little bit different. It's very unique. It's basically a sleeveless dress and then there's very much a plunging, like defining leg feature at the bottom. So I made sure to add both of those to our cookies. Again, go back and flood the entire thing. If you want to add a little bit more icing, maybe towards her stomach, if you believe in those type of things, but maybe she just had a burger. Maybe she just had a cookie. Maybe she had both. Pregnant? I don't know. Once that had hardened, I went back and I piped on some very small, intricate details because the dress really all flows to a very centralized point. And then once I was done with that, the dress shines, like shine bright like a diamond. So this is our time for edible glitter, some edible luster dust. And I used that to basically just cover the entire thing in a thin layer of glitter. Here's Rihanna's look from Fashion Week. Honestly, one of my favorites. Rihanna kills the fashion game. She also kills the music game, but it's gonna be a while, I feel like, till we get Rihanna music. Rihanna, drop your elbow, please. Please, please. Anyways, here's the look compared to the original. I really like this one. Now, we don't dabble too much in the country realm here on the channel, just because I don't know that much about it. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'll learn some more. But I do want to make a cookie theme towards Casey Musgraves because her look was pretty cool. It stood out to me when I was clicking through the pictures of people at Fashion Week. It's basically like a neon tiger print and a bra. It's like a pantsuit, but can you call it a pantsuit if it doesn't have a suit top? 
I don't know. To make this cookie, again, I started with the same dress we used for Rihanna. Then taking some green royal icing, I wanted to make sure that you knew these were pants. So I piped some pants onto this cookie, basically following the lines of the dress. However, once I got to the bottom, I started to kind of angle inwards, you know, pants meet in the middle. If they didn't, that'd be bad. <laughs> While our royal icing was still wet, it hadn't set yet, I went back with a very small tipped black royal icing and just piped a bunch of squiggly lines. This is just our animal print. Just have fun with it. Anywhere you want, just put it there. I debated on whether I wanted to add her jacket or not, but in the end, I'm glad I didn't. I think it would be a little too distracting. So I just went with a very lavender band to represent her bra, piping it right above those pants. I just said Rihanna was one of my favorite people at Fashion Week, but this is definitely one of my favorite looks that I think I did better than the actual look. It just is so cute. I mean, yes, compared to the original, I like my cookie better. Continuing on with our show, we've got two more people to walk on out. One of them being Vanessa Hudgens, who wore this like gold dress, so shiny, and basically like this furry coat, kind of like a blanket. I wish I had a blanket. So for this, I started with one of our dresses. This one actually had the scraps, a little more modest. And I began with some white royal icing. I wanted to do a little bit of experimenting, so I outlined the entire thing and flooded it. And then while it still hadn't set yet, I thought maybe I could just add some vanilla extract. So I took a paintbrush and just brushed it all over. I was kind of going for the cracked effect and I think it worked well. However, in some places it really didn't. So I basically just scratched that and you know, same problem with Janelle Monet, same solution. We'll just cover it in sprinkles. So for this one, I just took the entire thing and just covered it in golden sprinkles. And honestly, I wish I did that at the beginning because it turned out so cute. I really like this one as well. Gosh, I really just like all these dresses I've created. But like, it's just sprinkles, simple, elegant, shiny compared to the Vanessa Hudgens dress. I mean, the only thing that would make this better is an edible blanket, but I don't know how you make that. Rounding off our food fashion show was my favorite outfit from Fashion Week, which was worn by Winnie Harlow. It's like this poofy dress, it's really cute. So I knew I had to make that. Again, I started with one of our basically like bow tie cookie dresses, and I didn't know how I wanted to tackle the poofiness at first, so I just took some white royal icing and began piping it onto our cookie. Now, another one of the defining details of this cookie is basically that it's a corset. So like, make sure the stomach has some like lines, like in the dress, it actually has some lines here. I thought I could maybe do some of the outfit in white royal icing. However, I realized it wasn't poofy enough. And I learned from Janelle Monet's dress that if you just keep adding more, it doesn't look that good. So my solution this time was cotton candy. So for the white top and also the bottom, I covered the entire thing in some cotton candy. Mine's purple. The dress is kind of a mixture of like white and light pink. If you put those together, you get, no you don't, you don't get purple, lighter pink. But in the end, this is definitely an amazing interpretation of a dress in cookie form. So poofy. I think like, thank goodness I had this cotton candy because it's so poofy. So here's the crew all together, all of our great celebrity dresses that we made today in honor of Fashion Week. Now, if there was a dress or anything you think I missed or that I should have made out of cookie form, let me know down in the comments below. But as always guys, stay your life, make a few dresses out of cookies, maybe, and make it sweet. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button down below. And while you're at it, subscribe. You can do that by clicking this cute little donate right here. If you're looking for more content, up here is my latest video, and down here is a YouTube things you should watch. That's all for today. I'll see you guys in the next video.